Okay, we're gonna get on this here. First, we're gonna check that filter again and see if we got some uh, macaroni in there. going to be a one inch wrench here. There we go. All right. Let's check that filter out, huh? Now we know that it's been sitting for a little bit, my brother-in-law said, so we may be getting into something where the carburetor has not been cleaned in a while. Uh, it doesn't look that bad. No. We cleaned it before and that so that's okay that looks all right put that to the side okay remember your spring that's in there don't lose that it goes right here Now, let's see about this here. Oh, look at that. That's, look how loose that was. What in the world? Yeah, these are not tight at all. Huh, I wonder if somebody been uh, getting in there and in the past there and checking out the same things that we're checking out eh yeah they're not very tight at all i mean they don't need to be really tight but not that loose you know yeah look that one wasn't even you see that one wow it's crazy 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 all right well a good cleaning won't hurt this thing at all, huh? Okay. Let me get my little muffin tray and I'll bring it back. All right. So I get these from the dollar store. I probably said it a hundred times, but just in case you're new and tuning in, I use these to, to uh, separate nuts and bolts. So you don't get them mixed up you know let's make sure that these are not different sizes either we might have to do like a little okay those are the same that's the same whoa see see how this See how long that one is? So, my advantage is that I'm recording this. So, I will go back in my own video and see where the long ones are. But I am going to uh, put them in the same. So, I know that those are the top of the, the carburetor. But, I am going to note that I have to go back and see where the long ones are and where the short ones are it looks like that this is the only long one so far so that's good got that going for us Okay, so now we flip it like this. This linkage here 
has to come out. So there we are. Come on now. Kind of getting ahead of myself. Let me put that back down on there. Well, let me get that straight real quick and I'll bring it back. Well, we got it to come around a little bit. So come around on this side. Take this Phillips screw off here. I'm going to show you how these come off. They come off a little weird and you got to mark them, take pictures, something, you know. Now, for you that are just uh, tuning in, I just bought this boat that has this carburetor on there. I don't know much about the history of the uh, the carb. So you get that off of there. And then now you can kind of pivot this a little bit and get this get this little clip off of there. Oh goodness, let me get a pick real quick. All right, let me focus in a little bit. That pick goes right here. You get that little clip off of there. Can you see that? It's a little dark. There we are. That's better. Okay, so what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and get this pick here. I'm going to slide that little clip off of there. There it goes right there. Okay, we'll put that in our tray. All right. Now, what we can do, we'll take that assembly off of there like that. Then, I'm gonna flip it on this side and do the same thing over here. But it's got a different style. So, Flip that out of there with this thing here. Well, come on now. Flip out of there. I really don't like messing with this part. I like kind of flipping it out of this part so it can. It's like keyed in there. Well, I guess we're going to have to do that. Okay, so this, flip this off there. There you are. Get this free. Okay. And then this one. It's like, got a little key in there. if you will. These things are a little bit tedious, but you can get it. All right. I see this one's gonna be difficult, so we're just gonna do it. I don't know, some people call it the hard way, some people call it the easy way. I'm gonna go ahead and take this, this, uh, screw out of there okay so we got our t15 and this is going to be this small little screw here remember there's a spring behind there so just kind of be careful with it there we are it's gonna be tight. 
you can get it. Now hold the spring with your fingers down below and take the whole assembly out of there. Oh. Okay. Okay, I'll put that portion to the side. Okay, now we're looking at this one here. It looks like this uh, has done uh, been uh, done before. I don't know how long ago, but it, I mean this looks fairly I don't know newish. So, yeah. All right. The gasket doesn't look that bad. Not torn or anything like that. What we are going to do, we are going to, well, let's see here. Let me flip this over. Hold on here. Where'd it go? Right there. Okay. We are going to take this. Can you see that? Yeah. Um, we're going to take this rod out of there, put it in our tray, take our float and needle and seat. Let's look at that needle and seat real quick. Oh, it doesn't look that bad. Okay. All right. Now here's our, let me take this gasket out of there. Yeah, this look at how newish this gasket looks. I think it's been done recently. But just because it's been done recently doesn't mean it's been done right or it's been done uh it's been done uh and not gotten really dirty after. Okay. Take screwdriver. Let me get a bigger screwdriver than that. All right. There we are. Okay. Well, you can see through it. That's good. A little gasket doesn't look ripped or anything like that. I. I could probably honestly say that this has done been done recently. Pretty recent here. To be honest with you. Okay. Put that portion to the side. Now let's go to this portion here. Take these two screws out right here. There we are. Now these have small uh, washers on there. Don't don't lose those washers. Now these are the longer screws. So we're going to go ahead and put those in a different spot in the tray. Now the center one. Oh man. That center one is always so hard to get, but that was pretty easy. So I, I can almost guarantee you this has been done recently. Okay. Moving right along here. Let me take this out. Now there should be a small little gasket underneath this. Yes, it's down there. So here's your tubes here. Usually those are really clogged up. They look absolutely clear. I don't know about down in there, but we're still going to be putting this into the ultrasonic. All right. Now, let's get... This here. Let's take these jets out. I mean these uh 
set screws here. Let's go like this. Take these out. Now we're going to count the turns. In. So we're going to start. I'm going to start right here. Okay. And to the seat down. Okay, so we're going to go half. One. Half. So one and a half. Okay. One and a half out from all the way being seated. When it's on the side with this right here on it. So remember that. <laughs> oh, and just kind of put your finger over this and see if there's any kind of drag with your finger now. And that will, that will uh, tell you if that's got any kind of damage or anything like that. But that's, that feels real smooth on that one. All right, now this one we're gonna count. Okay, we're gonna kind of start it there and say half, one, half, and a quarter. Okay, all right, so go all the way back out. Now I'm going to refer back to this video, like I said before, for the settings of those. And we're going to look at the other again here. Oh yeah, that feels nice and smooth too. Okay, moving on. There's our, our number there. There's our number there. Okay. All right. So, so far, so good, eh? I'm going to try to get this little gasket out of there. All righty. So that thing came out nice and neat. Okay, next we are going to get this this jet out of there. So it's got this little knob on there. Let's see if you can see that. It's got this little knob on there. So it just kind of pushes in and you can take it out with your screwdriver. Boy, oh boy. Let's see. Oh man, that one's not coming out. Come on now, stop playing. Stop playing games here. There she goes. Did you hear it pop? There we are. So now it's kind of hard to get down in there with your fingers, but you can get it. Okay. Let's see if that one's all nice. And we'll put that one in the Vibersonic here. All right, now there's two more right there. Boy, oh boy, the lighting today. I'm, I apologize, guys. The lighting today is not good. So, hold on a second. Okay. You see him down in there? Got to get those ones out, too. So. Take our medium-sized screwdriver. Go. 
Whew. That looks like it might be giving us a little problem too. Let me get my flashlight down in there. Okay, I'm gonna try this impact here. It's uh, they're kind of temperamental coming out sometimes, but if you don't know what this does, you hit it on the top and it turns and goes inside there at the same time. Hopefully this uh, this size will work for us, eh? Okay. So. All right. Let me get a better handle on that real quick. Okay, got our piece of wood kind of give us a little bit of a straight down angle there okay hopefully this works eh yep that worked all right <laughs> Where'd she go? Oh goodness. Got her out of there. Now we lost her, eh? There she goes. Alright, so see how kind of mauled up that was a little bit. So yeah, definitely someone's been in there looking to do the same thing we're doing. So, can't knock them for that, right? All right, so let's just do the second one like that also. So we can get rocking and rolling here, huh? Okay, now when you put it on there, you go the direction where you want to go, which is... Which is to the to the left. All right. Let's see here. That do it. Yep. That did it. All righty. Well, that's good because sometimes those are bare. I've had that little impact for years. I use it now and then again, but it stays in the toolbox. But when you need it, you got it. All righty, moving right along. I think it's time to uh, start soaking her. See here. This one. Let's take this guy. Let's take that guy apart real quick. Okay, got those three screws out of there. Be careful because there's a big old spring in there. See that spring? Yeah. You don't want to be messing with that thing. All right, let's get that off of there so we can, oh, it's clocked. So see that little notch right there? That was at the second little tick on this housing. So remember that. Kind of take a mental note of where that is in the relationship there. Okay. Let's get a... 
That's a Phillips there. That was barely on there. Yeah, that's the telltale signs of what's going on there. Well, that's that's pretty long. Yeah, I may uh, replace that once I'm in here. I might as well replace that. Let's see if it's in the budget. <laughs> Flip it back over like that. Now we're gonna get the bottom plate off here. That one was not that tight. Wow. Yeah, this thing's been done. I don't know if it's been done correctly though, because the way that thing was acting is that it was flooding. Almost like starving for fuel at times, flooding at times. So it's just best just to, in my opinion, you know, just to kind of do your own investigation. You don't even know what's going on with these things. Okay. Yeah, look, even that surface is nice and, yeah. Mm-hmm. This is a recent overhaul so i don't know if i'm even going to get a kit for it i may just clean everything up put it all back together maybe uh order one of these uh chokes there and be done with it you know yeah let's put that in there there is a ton I don't know if you can see there or not. Let me get the flashlight. There's a ton of gunk inside that big hole right there. A ton. I can scrape it with something and it can come out. So we'll put that in our machine there. Now it's going to take a little bit longer because, you know, my machine, I, I need to get a bigger one of these um you know but uh yeah um i uh just gonna flip it you know that's not a problem it's not a big deal all right we're gonna go ahead and soak it and i'll bring it back sorry about the noise in the background i took that spring out of there Get a little ball down in there. Got to get that out of there. Okay, now you inspect it. See if it's all dirty or anything like that. It looks pretty clean. So we'll put it back in there. Okay, got it back in there. Put our spring back in there. All nice and clean. We're waiting for the other one to get done. And we'll rock and roll. Okay, we're slowly getting all of our parts all cleaned up. One after another. Okay, that's going to do it for this one. And the next one, we're going to go ahead and put that thing back together. Get it fired back up. we got some parts coming in the mail. And, uh, yeah, I really appreciate everyone uh, following along. Uh, remember to uh, like and subscribe. And remember, it's just nuts and bolts. And God bless.